Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel and welcome to another music reaction. And today is something a little bit different. Um, Shane McGowan died a few days ago. So I thought it would be fitting to do a sort of... Someone in tribute to Shane McGowan. Um, again, the Pogues are one of these bands. Obviously I'd heard of them. I'd, I've heard a few things. I've obviously heard a fairy tale in new york so one of my favorite christmas songs it's most people's favorite christmas song right it, it balances the the genres so well um outside of that i think there's a few other things i'd heard from the pogues but again it was never sort of the direction i went in right but i know the pogues and especially shame going were well revered in like like legend status among people i am um, interact with and people i know and yeah, so he he was he was a big character, and um, who like sixty five? He died when he was sixty five, which is is not old at all. But to be honest, we never thought he would live to last long, right? You never thought he would see sixty five, but he did. And um, yeah, so I was looking for something to do, and I came across this. This is the Pogues with the Dubliners. The Irish Rover, um, I've heard of the Dubliners, again it's not really my thing, but I've heard of them, I've heard a few things I've done, and I thought that's we that's we fun, right, it's got a lot of views, and it, yeah, why not, it's live, I like live stuff, so let's do the Pogues and the Dubliners, this is the Irish Rover, this is live, this is 1987, so let's see, let's see, yeah. let's give Shane or thoughts were a song. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, especially over from London to join with us and pay tribute to the Dubliners. Here's a number from the Dubs with the Pogues. Let's go with the Pogues. Hey! Oh, so it is it. We set sail from the street cove of Cork We were sailing away with the cargo of bricks For the Grand City Hall in New York But a wonderful craft she was rigged for the daft And now how the wild wind blows her She stood several blasts She had twenty-seven masts And they called her the Irish Rover we had three million barrels of our money got sales, we had four million barrels of stone, we had five million dogs, six million hearts, seven million barrels of birds, we had eight million hides of our blind horses hides, and all of the Irish Rover. So just pause this for a moment. See it? What I absolutely love about this already. See, um, I love contrasting music, right? Hard and soft, whatever it may be. But see the, the two generations, like the two completely, completely different styles, two completely different generations meeting on a stage. And it sounds it sounds fucking good. It sounds amazing. And yeah, and Shane McGowan, although, like, you know, didn't always sound the best, sometimes it doesn't matter. Right, it doesn't matter at all. And my son are smoking and drinking on a stage, got a little cup. I can't imagine what's in it, but yeah, it, it doing his thing. It sounds brilliant. Seven million barrels of birds We had eight million hides of our blind horses hides And all of the Irish Rover There was our Mickey Coot Who played hard on his flute When the ladies lined up for a set He would tootle with skill For his sparkling quadrille To the dancers were fluter than bet With his smart witty talk He was cock on the walk 
When he rolled a day thunder and over They all knew at a glance When he took up his stance And he sailed in the Irish Rover Always amazing. Always, always, yeah. Always amazing. Always, I love that. Always see the the energy on the stage. They had like a very um, just a bunch of people turning for a jam, but it sounded so good. It was like um, it was like so many instruments and it all sounded different and everything was. It was like chaos, right? It was like chaos, but if you can bring beauty out of chaos, you are doing something special, right? That's what I think. If you can bring beauty from chaos, you're winning. And that was that was beautiful. That was that was great. And um, yeah, a lot of things like I've said some other times. A lot of things with energy, and I had energy by the bucket load, and it made me smile all the way through. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much more you can say, right? The singer for the Dubliners died years ago. Shane died a few days ago. Um, two big characters. God bless them both. May the rest in peace. And yeah, it was always spectacular. It was great. I was. It was something I didn't think I would like. Right. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I just did. But it was always. Yeah. So Shane McGowan died. 65 again who thought the mom would get 65 though, right he's been dying for 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 years and years and he's just held on and held on and he achieved a status in the certain parts of the country and the world that that very very few people ever get you know and he had his issues over the years and he had his health problems but um Hopefully he's at peace now, right? He's in a bad place. So, I was, uh, I was, I was the Pogues and the Dubliners from 1987. I was, 
Danish roof were always spectacular, always camera facing. You didn't, did you enjoy it as much as I did? Always brilliant. Anyway, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, thank you for everything, thank you for subscribing. Subscribe if you haven't, comment, give me suggestions, and I'll catch you on the next one.